You can tell it's Christmas. I've got on my Christmas tie. Merry Christmas, everybody. Ho, ho, ho. And, you know, some people, some people allege that when I do the show the day after Christmas, he doesn't actually come in the day after Christmas. He pre-tapes that show. Well, I am now going to be able to prove to you that it is the day after Christmas, because we have two audience members who are wearing their Christmas sweaters and they're right here. Gentlemen, please come on. Look at me. Christmas sweaters. There you are. Now, what are your names, gentlemen? Justin. Justin and... Brian. Brian. Justin and Brian, have you guys been enjoying herbal cigarettes this evening? <laughs> Because if you have, this must be really freaking you out! <laughs> now, did you make your own Christmas sweaters? My, fr my friend's mom made it for me. Oh, that's nice. It... No. No, no, no. Who you gave this one to me. Yeah, the, so, so yeah. she makes Christmas sweaters. They're very nice. Is there anything on the back or is it just Christmas trees? Nope. And then, uh, And then here, this isn't really a Christmas sweater, is it? I made it. You made it? I made it. Yeah, best it's... it's. I ever got. That's nice. And are you guys a couple or, or what? <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? Who knows what'll happen this Christmas? <laughs> Maybe we'll all get something we didn't expect. <laughs> we'll take a break. We'll be back with a big Christmas Day after Christmas Day show. Kids, when you think taking drugs is a good idea, <laughs> let this be a reminder to you that things don't always end up the way you planned. <laughs> Get off. Get off. You know, in my day, the only people that wore Hawaiian shirts were fat guys or gay guys. <laughs> fat gay guys used to wear them all the time. <laughs> Apparently now, the young people who enjoy herbal cigarettes of a Friday night <laughs> like to all dress up the same and come to the show. I don't know. Actually, you know what? These two guys, I saw them in the audience. They're wearing the same shirt. They were once here at Christmas, weren't they? And they were wearing Christmas sweaters. And they were both very high that night as well. <laughs> <laughs> what did we learn on the show tonight, Greg? thinking. You're thinking when you turned on, you went, wait a minute, I thought I was watching the Scottish Conan guy, but instead it looks like they're remaking a sort of gay Al-Qaeda Green Acres. <laughs> the 
it's the dress the same guys they come to the show sometimes well one of them the guy with the thick mustaches they uh, they come to the show they dress the same and i go well i've got no material so on you go and then they come out <laughs> and then but the, one of the dressed the same guys, the guy with the, the you know, the kind of, uh, the handlebar moustache guy. <laughs> well, he's the regular dressed the same guy, and the other dressed the same guy is new. And I said, well, did you break up with the other dressed the same guy? And he said, no, 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 he just can't grow facial hair. <laughs> If I rejected everyone who couldn't grow facial hair, I would have never married my first wife. Ah, ah it's a joke. It's a joke. Welcome live to Hollywood, where we present the Late Late Show Christmas Spectacular, starring tonight, the guys wearing sweaters. <laughs> and the guys wearing sweaters dancers. <laughs> And the guys wearing sweaters, strip tease organization. <laughs> it's the guys wearing sweaters, everybody. Uh <laughs> what happens is if you don't know. If you don't know anything about the guys wearing sweaters, that every now and again they put on the same sweater and they come to the show. I think they smoke a lot of pot. <laughs> and they come to the show and we let them in. And why do we let them in? Because we have to. Because we're kind and we got seats to fill. And but they come to the show and they they turned up wearing Christmas sweaters and I thought, oh, how lovely. But what you don't know is that. There's been a bit of a problem because once the dark-haired Christmas sweater guy turned up with a different sweater guy. <laughs> and I don't know if the other sweater guy knows anything about that. <laughs> so probably best not to... <laughs> probably best not to mention it right now. Like he just turned up with a different sweater guy. It was like when they changed the Darren and Bewitched, and you're like, what? <laughs> what was the other thing they did that with? They did that with something else. In Roseanne, they did that as well. Was it the, the, the Roseanne, the, like one of her kids turned into another kid? Yeah. Like, you can't, you can't just do that. <laughs> well, anyway, the sweater guy did that. I think there's been some. I See, the thing is, I have this rule I never talk to the sweater guys. And you know why? I don't like to break the mystery. Because I like to think that they roam the earth, you know, trying to solve crimes <laughs> with sweater power. <laughs> I see, that looks like there's been a murder. <laughs> Let me put on my sweater and have a good old think about this. And you know that movie that's opening Sherlock Holmes, that's opening on Christmas Day, that's, yeah, that's kind of like sweater guys, <laughs> really. Robert Downey Jr. and Jude Law. And so this is Christmas. <laughs> what have you done? <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen of the jury. Now, if you've never seen this show, first of all, well done. Uh, uh, every uh, month or so, really, uh, every six weeks or so, these gentlemen turn up wearing outfits. So they live nearby in some dumpster. And, uh, <laughs> clearly think that this is an episode of Let's Make a Deal. They dress up in these outfits and they turn up the show and, and we thought, well, this would be lovely. Uh, they've, they've turned up in their Christmas sweaters. And the best thing is I always remember their names. <laughs> but just in case you don't, I'll have them say their names to you. Oh, you knew it. You said Justin. No, I do, I, do, I do know your names. Just please say your names to the ladies and gentlemen. It's Justin. kind of a Justin. Yeah. Justin, say your name. And Brian will also Brian say his name. Brian, say your old name also. <laughs> yes. That one's me. He's Justin. Yeah, I know. I, I got I, it. I know. I I'm know. I them. know. It's for them. This isn't a sketch, dude. Okay. I'm sorry. 
You've got lights on your sweater. Do they light up? I was trying to help the... No, these don't, but this does a little bit. All right, let's see. Lighting. Oh, yeah, I can see. Yeah, that's barely. nice. They probably yeah. can't see at home, but you can. I don't know. Can, can no. you? <laughs> uh, no, this is great. I love the... Are you guys going out later? <laughs> Do you know what I like about this? That somebody actually sat down and said, let's make a fabric like this. <laughs> so, what are you doing for Christmas, guys? Justin and Brian? <laughs> you know, hanging out under the mistletoe. The whoa, whoa. No, man. It's got jingly balls. I know it's got jingly balls. It's not gonna work, man. <laughs> Anyway, it's not real mistletoe. It's fake mistletoe, which means that, you know, it, won't, it doesn't have any magical power. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, uh, I wish you Merry Christmas this year, and uh, maybe next year you could stop smoking marijuana, get some, uh, get some uh, jobs, and stop coming here. <laughs> Yeah, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I know. You always look freaked out when I say you're smoking marijuana, man. It's like everybody knows, you know. Some you're you're like Willie Nelson. <laughs> well, I'll be back, but they won't. Sweater guys. <laughs> Every year, round right about this time, you guys show up just like Santa's sack. <laughs> Dressed in your little outfits. And you turn up at the show. Would that or would that not be true? Yes. True. You sit in the audience. Yes. But you usually wear the same thing, but you're not wearing the same thing. He's got a cool onesie thing. You're just like, ah, I'll put a cardigan on, it'll be fine. <laughs> No, no, you're you're not you're not that cool, okay. man. You're right. That's cool. Like yep. when you guys go out later, he's getting the action. <laughs> Cause the ladies love a onesie. <laughs> have you got that back door thing going on? No, you haven't. All right, gentlemen, what are the plans for this Christmas? Just as I thought, just like, just like amateurs, Jeff. You know what I mean? It's they think this will be funny. We'll put on an outfit. Have we got to say, oh, it won't matter? Yes, it matters. <laughs> Do you think I'd get by just having my tie like this? <laughs> Don't touch that. <laughs> now you set off a chain reaction, which will be impossible to stop. <laughs> What do you think, Jeff? You want to hang out with the guys later? Touch my next. Touch my next. <laughs> All right, don't, easy, Don't point Santa. your finger out, man. <laughs> You'll set him off. So that's it, then. Set him off what? You'll put him off guys. <laughs> like that. <laughs> so, gentlemen, thank you for showing up once again at Christmas time and reminding us all some people are dumber than others. <laughs> It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. <laughs> la, 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 la. Every year for how long is it now? Five years. Five years. Every year for five years now, these guys turn up the week before Christmas with their Christmas sweaters on. They sit in the audience and stare at me in a passive aggressive fashion <laughs> until I put them on the show. However, wasn't there one year when you kind of broke up and, and then there was a, like you were here and there was a, like a replacement sweater guy? Yeah, with a big mustache. Yeah, what was that about? I uh, can't grow a mustache. <laughs> so, like you guys, that, is that a, that's not really a sweater. You didn't throw yourself this, at it this year, man. This is not a sweater? Well, it's a zipper, cardigan Wait, thing. wait, wait. You're going to make fun of me and not him? Well, I'm not making fun. I'm just saying he, he looks more like he's got his... Do you know your, your beard is getting grey? That's how long we've been oh, doing yeah. this? Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. But you know what's the weird thing is, like, they turn up uh, every year, the sweater guys turn up, the regulars, clockwork, 
But this year they brought sweater girlfriends. <laughs> And I'm like, well, the days of the sweater guys are doomed. <laughs> you guys are gonna have to split up. Mm -hmm. I don't know about that. <laughs> well, look, the sweater girlfriends are here, and you know, now that I've seen them, you guys are toast. It's all interchangeable. <laughs> no, it's not all interchangeable, oh, no. man. It's not, it's not the late, late show with the sweater guys, their girlfriends, and Craig Ferguson. It's just Crikey. me. <laughs> so, I'm so, come on over, girls. Come on over, girls. <laughs> so, do you guys all live in the same house? Nope. Yes. <laughs> nope, yes. Who here is the meth supplier? <laughs> These are all my children. <laughs> Everybody, I wait for the phone. Wait for the phone.